Welcome, my beloved, to episode 5 of The Mystical Divine. I feel so honored and so blessed to have this opportunity to be here with you and to share a beautiful message that Jesus gave to me. Yeah, I feel just so uh, graced, so loved and uh, so called in my heart to, to speak about this. It feels very, very important. Um, I have been in quiet and solitude. Yeah, just really going inward in prayer for some weeks now. And um, Jesus has been showing me so many things. And uh, I felt to share some of it with you because it feels that it has to go out, that it is something that would be helpful for many. And uh, yeah, I just feel like my heart is pounding and it's so important. Because God really works in mysterious ways and we don't really understand what is going on. But the faith, the faith is what will carry us forward and give us certainty and bring us into his presence, his love for us. Yeah, so I want to share something that that happened um, right around Christmas. It felt like uh, something really deep happened to me that made a huge shift. And uh, yeah, I want to share that. I am... Um, I had planned with David, my husband David, to go to Florida to do a retreat, a Christmas retreat. And uh, we flew over there and I brought all my music gear with me, my amplifier and guitar and microphone, everything. I brought with me and uh, it was a long flight with a layover and some delay and, but uh, it was very beautiful I was in a beautiful state of mind and very restful and excited and felt just so loved to be going on this trip to have an opportunity to extend and share and, and sing. And uh, we arrived in Florida, St. Augustine, Florida, and late, actually in the middle of the night. And, and the next day we had a couple of days to just settle in and have a little rest and prayer time and and uh, the day before the retreat started, I set up all the gear and was going to do a little practice to feel out how it was to sing in this new room. And, and I began singing and, and uh, our beautiful host came down and was felt, yeah, felt to come down and listen and he asked if he could sit and listen and, and I said yes, of course and it was such a beautiful, uh, mystical uh, evening I just kept on singing and 
beautiful songs just on and on for I don't know how long and uh, felt just so honored that he was there so it was like a divine concert for him and and he had tears running down his cheeks and and I had tears in my eyes too singing it was so beautiful and um, the next day I went out on a walk down by the water a long walk and um, and I was just in such joy I was watching this funny bird he looked like he just had woke up with his feathers all over and and right next to him was a, a fish jumping up and down in the water and I was just laughing out loud just standing there there was no one there just me and the fish and the bird and I was just laughing and I was just felt so loved so loved and blessed and I began walking back and then suddenly Jesus appeared next to me he was walking right next to me in his white robe so beautiful it was so beautiful so mystical and, and then he said to me Svava would you drop everything right now and walk with me into the light? And I said the biggest yes that I have ever said in my life. It was just so deep from my heart. And I had a jacket on and my phone was in the pocket and I said Jesus I would drop this jacket my phone everything and I will go with you yes I will go with you and then he shared with me a vision he showed me an old radio like the radio my granddad had you know these very old ones and he said Svava it is time to stop tuning into noise you have to tune into what resonates with your heart what expands your heart what feels right there is where I am tune only into that and um, I walked further with him and he shared other things but his presence oh my god it was just wow it was so beautiful and then I walked back home and the funniest thing happened that suddenly suddenly my guitar didn't work it was completely out of tune two of the strings I couldn't even tune them something was completely off and I didn't know what to do because I'm not really technical in that way and but after a little while I was just with it and I found out that I could put my capo on the fret number three and then it sounded okay and, but that meant that I would have to sing the songs much higher than I usually do and what also had beginning to happen was that my throat was starting, was starting to hurt was dry and so combination of my throat and needing to sing higher than usual I I was like, wow, what is going on? But at that time I didn't really think about that I had said yes to Jesus and to drop everything. And
And uh, my assignment there was mostly to, to sing, to do the music part. And it seemed like that was just beginning to fall away. And uh, yeah, and in the evening I, I did sing songs, but it was not easy and, and I could feel something was happening. And the next day I, I could barely speak. And I started getting fever. And uh, I just saw that this retreat was just getting washed away from me. But the most amazing thing was that I felt so graced and so happy. I was just laying there with fever and could barely speak, but I was just so happy. I felt so loved. And, uh, and I had to step away from this retreat and, and David had to take it all on. And uh, it was so beautiful how the participants were texting me and bringing me food to the door and asking me if they, I needed anything from the pharmacy. And I just felt so loved. It was so, so amazing. And... Uh, and our plan to go back after the retreat was washed away too because our pipes were frozen in our house here at the monastery in Utah. So we canceled our flight back and, and I was starting to get a little bit better there. And uh, a few of our friends invited us to come and stay with them down by the water, a little bit further south in Florida. So, and I love the, I love the ocean so much. I always just, yeah, quite often close my eyes and vision that I am down by the ocean and it just brings such bliss to my heart. So, uh, all plans were just wiped away and then suddenly I was down by the ocean and I could go down by the ocean in the morning and pray and listen to the waves. It was so beautiful. So beautiful. And coming back here after an, a week longer stay in Florida I have just been called in my heart to just be in quiet solitude. I have not been participating really much in anything, even social media, I just, days that I have forgotten about it. And I have just been basking in the grace of God And feeling God within me. I'm having these deep, deep experiences of that God is in me, that I am in Him. This deep experience of oneness, of union with our Father. And right now, while I'm sharing this, I was remembering that I have been hearing in my mind for some months before even going to Florida that that oneness I've been hearing the word oneness and union and ascension that it's time to ascend 
And I feel like this is just a beginning. And I felt so deep importance to share this with you because this is this is not for me this is for the whole this is for you for everyone that we are being called to walk with Christ to walk with Jesus to realize the Christ within us, that we are one with Jesus. He is really calling us to be like him and calling us to see and realize that we are like him. He came to demonstrate what we truly are and he's so strong in my heart calling us to join him to walk with him in God's presence yeah what a beautiful beautiful life so, so glorious. Nothing is what it seems. Nothing is what we thought was true and real. And everything is connected. We are all connected with everything. God is in everything. Because God is in us. The kingdom of heaven is within These weeks I've been just sitting in prayer and silence. I can feel like my heart is expanding so, so much. And things that are not important, the small things, just are falling away. They don't really come in my mind. Yeah, I have no idea where where this is going, but it's big. It feels just huge. A big shift. There's so much love. We are called, the light is calling us to be a demonstration of this love, of divine love. This is so important, this is so important. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to this. I know you are listening to this because you are ready to walk with Jesus. This is for you to join him side by side. I have been reading the Gospels in the New Testament and uh, wow, it's so beautiful, so beautiful and I, I'm feeling to share something with you I'm gonna read something with you for you so 
So this is from Ephesians. Number three, and uh, what is so amazing is that this part is called the divine mystery. I just noticed that it's kind of the same as the title of this podcast, The Mystical Divine. And this is number three and part seven from 17 to 20. It's so beautiful. Just close your eyes and just take it in. Then, by constantly using your faith, the life of Christ will be released deep inside you. And the resting place of his love will become the very source and root of your life. Then you will be empowered to discover what every Holy One experiences, the great magnitude of the astonishing love of Christ in all its dimensions. How deeply intimate and far-reaching is his love. Wow, how enduring and inclusive it is. Endless love beyond measurement that transcends our understanding. This extravagant love pours into you until you are filled to overflowing with the fullness of God. Never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. Wow, isn't this beautiful? Wow. By constantly using your faith, the life of Christ will be released deep inside you. And the resting place of his love will become the very source and root of your life. Yeah, Jesus is really calling us to live like him, to be like him. To live a miraculous life and to be a demonstration of this magnificent divine love of God. Thank you. Thank you, my beloved brother, brothers and sisters. Yeah, I invite you to join me in this. To walk with Jesus, to have the faith, to have the faith, to remember the truth of you, this glorious, glorious child of God, pure and innocent, eternally loved. Let your heart be filled with love light be so filled with his glory that you will demonstrate to everyone you meet the truth of who we are 
Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah. Sending you all my love. Thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day.